It is after times now seven month long investigation that 4000 crore mining scam kingpin has been dragged back to India. Your channel first tracked Anil Bastavde in June 2012 in Indonesia, where the mining kingpin was leading a luxurious lifestyle away from the eyes of the law. But Times now relentlessly tracked all his moves, presenting irrefutable proof, forcing the Enforcement Directorate to capture the mining kingpin and bring him back to India. He lived the high life on a remote Indonesian island until seven months ago. The kingpin of a 4,000 crore mining scam, Anil Adinath Bastavade, untraceable, till Times now tracked him down in June 2012. Anil, trail for your Dubai investment to your construction companies. Uh, are you sure that none of the tainted money from Mr. Koda or people who were associated with him has come to your company? Or perhaps is it possible that you know you are not aware of it and something has come? No, how, how can I not be aware of any money not coming to my account? Mm -hmm. My account, I am a real estate, real estate official broker in Dubai Real Estate Rera Authority. Okay. All my money which has come has been documented in the escrow account maintained by Dubai. But from there, relentless reporting and continuous follow ups by your channel ensured that the authorities finally caught up with the mining scam kingpin. On the 28th of Jan, the man who helped the former Jharkhand Chief Minister Madhu Koda root his money out of India was tracked down to a detention cell in Jakarta. Mr. Bastavde? Yes. Mr. Bastavde? Yes. You want to say anything, sir? What is it? Sorry, sir? You have to identify yourself, please. Sorry, if you will come in front, then only I can identify myself, sir. So, you want to say anything, sir, about your arrest? Why you have been detained here, sir? Mr. Bastavde? Sir, you want to say anything, sir? The law finally catching up with the mining scam kingpin as he was deported to India. Times Now was present at the Jakarta International Airport to see a nervous Bastavde arriving for his flight to India. The kingpin behind the mining scam actually uh, checking in at the Jakarta International Airport. Uh, he's accompanied by the sleuths of the Enforcement Directorate, as you saw, and also by the Immigration Police and Interpol officials. They are making sure that he leaves Jakarta International Airport and reaches Hong Kong safely. We continued following the scamster, even as he reached Hong Kong, escorted by ED officials and then boarded a flight for India while trying his best to avoid our cameras and evade our questions. He's on the next flight out to Delhi and once he lands in Delhi late in the evening today, he will be taken to Ranchi tomorrow probably. There, the Enforcement Spe Directorate Special Court has an arrest warrant pending against him. On board the flight, on the ground as he landed, Following him, asking direct questions as he was finally arrested on arrival. Thanks to our investigations. Times Now will continue to follow the case and the men behind it as the 4,000 crore mining scam is finally reopened. Bureau Report, Times Now.